everyone, this is Angela at African Roots TV. Today I'm going to be visiting some young people in Mount Lebanon Baptist Church in Baltimore, Maryland. These are students who've been exploring their own family history in a unique way under the direction of an experienced genealogist who's been working with them. Please join me as I talk to them about their family history project. A small child admires a tree of families assembled by her Sunday school class. Another child points out members of his family tree on a chart that he created. The walls of the church hall reflect projects assembled by other children as well. All of these are images from a children's genealogy program incorporated into a Sunday school program. The children who attend Mount Lebanon Baptist Church in Baltimore, Maryland learned to appreciate the concept of family history from this unique month-long project that unfolded in February of this year. Under the direction of their teacher, Regina Spencer, these young people explored their own family history by interviewing family members and bringing that information back to their class for their project. Each child made a prayer necklace representing family and loved ones for whom they pray. The names of parents, siblings, grandparents and even great-grandparents if known, they were obtained when the children spoke to their family members at home. In addition, each child kept a journal and received other memorabilia as part of their project. After weeks of collecting names and adding to their prayer necklace, it was time on the last session to take them apart and to assemble the collected names on the family tree. The tree represented their family, a collection of the families in their church, and it also represented the greater family of God. This exercise also inspired parents who were quite appreciative of the concepts that the children had learned. Tell us a little bit about the project and how you got the children interested in their family history. Uh, the project started as a vision that I got one night and I came to church and asked pastor if I could do it. Uh, what was your vision? The vision was that I wanted to um, get children involved in genealogy. God showed me the plan. He uh, mapped it all out for me, told me when to do it, how many weeks I was going to do it, and it Wonderful. went from there. Has it been successful? It was very successful. We had um, 26 students who participated. And what are we standing in front of? There is a massive tree that you're standing in front of. Can you explain that? This is our um, family tree that we did, and the leaves that you see on the tree are people's names that the children all prayed for for the month of February. Oh, wonderful. And then they actually create a, created a necklace, and then we took the names off the necklace the last week of the um, class and put them on the tree, and we're all going to continue to pray for all the people that are on the tree. Oh, how wonderful. And um, what are the plans for the future? Maybe some of the children are interested in continuing. You've planted some seeds. I don't know right now, but I'm sure that God will direct me in the next direction. Wow. Thank you very much. I'm talking here to Tawan Cooper, who's the mother of two children who participated in the Family History Project at Mount Lebanon Baptist Church. Mrs. Cooper, can you tell me a little bit about the project and what you think of the project itself? Um, I believe that the Genealogy Me and My Tree project is a good way for children to get the under understanding of where they come from, their ancestors, 
how their ancestors' lives impact, impacted their lives. Um, one of the things that we were able to do was that the kids interview family members. They talk about how family members were when they were little. What types of things did you do when you were little, grandma and grandpa, and learn a little bit more about what they did as children, which connects to what they do as children. Sometimes as children, they think that we were always adults. Right. So talking to your elders, your grandparents, your great-grandparents, great-aunts, gives you an understanding that these people that we know as the adults that we love were children and that they went through some of the same things that we went through. Had you been doing genealogy before? Uh, two years ago we did it. Okay. Miss Regina did it um, with the children as a project and they did the um, family tree yes. but this time they created boards yes. that um, trifold display boards that okay. showed their family, the family members that they were close to and how they interact with those families. So it had pictures of the kids at birthday parties or just hanging yes. out with grandma, grandpa, and aunts and uncles. Wonderful. So that you can see the impact of those elders on their lives. Wow, thank you. I'm speaking with three young people who were involved in the Family History Project at Mount Lebanon Baptist Church. Tell me a little bit about the project. Tell me your name and tell me if you enjoyed it. My name is Nigel Cooper and I like the project because it, you could um, learn more about your family and your moms and dads side. Did you enjoy talking to the elders? Yes, it was pretty fun because at first you would actually think they were lame and stuff, but they actually fun. Very good. And you learned something then? Yes. Oh, great. And who am I talking to? That's right. Very good. So you enjoyed it? Yes. Great. And who am I talking to? Nevaeh Cooper. Tell me about the project. Did you enjoy it? I enjoyed the project because you can put pictures of yourself now and you can put pictures of yourself when you were a little baby. Ah. And how about talking to some of the elders in the family, the older people? Anything else that you learned or would you tell other people to get involved? Would you tell other kids your age to get involved? Yes. You would. Okay. Thank you very much. Well, I hope you enjoyed that segment. Weren't they great to talk to? And wasn't that a wonderful idea, a wonderful way to get them interested in family history? I really hope that others will use this story of these young people and use it as a model. Use it as something that you can perhaps incorporate to pay it forward, get the next generation interested in their own family history. Well, that's it for today, and thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.